How well do you know your students? An interest survey can come in handy during any part of the school year. Hello there. If we haven't met before, my name is Monica Burns. I'm an ed tech and curriculum consultant, the host of the Easy Ed Tech podcast, and the voice behind the blog, classtechtips.com. I'm excited to join you today to unpack this ed tech concept. Let's go ahead and dive in. We all know the importance of relationships, of getting to know someone and truly understanding what they're interested and excited about. As you're planning instruction, looking at an upcoming unit of study, an interest survey can come in handy in a lot of different ways. It can help you figure out what big topics or smaller topics students want to learn about and help you pull resources that are connected to their interests. It can help you form groups so you know which students might like to dive into a topic in a small group together. And it can also set up conversations that might lead to an independent study or a research project that students are doing on their own. Let's unpack this idea of interest surveys and think about some of the things you might ask as you are looking to learn more about your students at any point in the school year. Interest surveys have a clear purpose and can be used any time of the year. A survey is truly an opportunity to pull a group to gather information on a topic, typically for the purpose of taking action. Just like a formative assessment where there's no point in giving kids a whole bunch of quiz questions if you're not gonna do anything with that data, you wanna make sure that whatever information you are gathering from a survey you are using in some way. So an interest survey should feel actionable, something that is practical and designed with the intention of following up. If you give a survey to students, you're going to want them to know that you are using that information. Just like if you were giving a survey to families, you'd want them to know that you value their opinion and are taking their survey or responses into consideration for any decisions that are being made. Now, an interest survey might include a collection of open-ended questions. So an open-ended question is one where students can respond with a word, phrase, sentence, or paragraph. You might also decide to include scales, where there are a range of options that provides a more nuanced response to a question. So for example, kids can say how they feel about something on a scale of 1 to 5 or 1 to 10. A scale or even a multiple choice question can help kids who might feel intimidated by an open-ended question. Open-ended questions can definitely give you great responses from students, but if they're not quite sure where to start or they're a little hesitant to share, you might get more actionable information in an interest survey with a scale, a multiple choice, or even some check boxes. Now, what might you ask when you are framing a interest survey, when you're designing questions for your interest survey? Well, there's lots of different directions you can go in. You might start off with something that feels like an all about me or tell me about yourself a type of interest survey. Those are great for the beginning of the year. If you are planning a new unit of study and want to make sure that it's really interesting and relevant to students, you might design an interest survey with a series of questions that connect to what you're going to teach later on in the week or in the month or even later on in the school year. Here's an example of an interest survey planning page where you might put the intention for your survey at the top, the tool that you're going to use, and then some questions below. I want us to think a little bit about how you might set an intention, like I'm going to use this information to do this, choose a tool, I'm gonna use a particular tool to gather this information, and then the types of questions you might ask either with the choices you might give students or if you're keeping them open-ended. Here's an example I've pulled together that shows what this can look like in action. Now as I get ready to scroll down the page here, you'll see one that I've set up for us. 
The intention for this quick interest survey example is that I'm teaching a unit on informational text structure and I want to use high interest text. I don't really care about the topic in terms of what is important to me, but I want to choose text examples or short passages that connect to things kids are interested in. So for this interest survey, I'm going to use the tool JotForm. That's what I've added here to my planning page. Now you might ask different types of questions, but here are a few examples that I might pose to a group of students if I wanted to collect some information from them. I might ask them, what places in the world would you like to learn more about? If you could get a free round trip plane ticket to any city in the United States, where would you go? What is your favorite type of cuisine? Or if you could order lunch for the whole class tomorrow, what would you want to eat? Now, these might seem like questions that don't have anything to do with informational text, but if students tell me that they want to visit a certain part of the country or a certain part of the world, or that they love a particular type of food from a certain corner of the globe, that's going to help me choose articles, informational text pieces that connect to their interests. So this is actionable information, even though it might come up in a casual conversation later on when we're talking about favorite foods, this is really going to help me choose text for an upcoming informational text unit. Although you might have plenty of casual conversations with students to get to know them better or hear what they're interested and excited about, it can also be useful to have a system to create a survey or questionnaire to really give kids a chance to respond and talk a little bit about what they want to learn more about, what they're interested and excited about both inside and outside of the classroom. This is where a survey tool like JotForm can come into play, where you can give kids an opportunity to talk about what they're most excited in learning more about within a particular topic, or give you some information that might help you craft an upcoming unit of study. Let's go take a closer look at JotForm together. So I am here in JotForm, I'm already logged in and ready to create an interest survey. Of course, I could use one of their many, many templates. I could import a form or I could start from scratch. I'm going to choose the layout of a classic form. This is where I can add my title at the top and start bringing in different types of questions. If I go to add form element, you can see here that I have a few different things that I can add in here. I might have students share in some um, responses that are short text where they're giving me a quick answer. I might give them a single choice so that they have to choose just one thing from a list, maybe even a drop down. I might even give them a multiple choice where they can see a few different options and choose, say, all of the places that they want to visit. You can see here there's an opportunity for a star rating or a scale rating, and you can combine a variety of question types to create your form. So just like my planning page where I had the interest survey, I had my intention, and then I had a few brainstormed questions, I can start adding them in here so that students can give a response. This provides the flexibility to build my own interest survey with JotForm that I can then share with students students, gather information, and take action based on their interest survey responses. As you can see here, I've added a title at the top, I put in one of those questions I shared with you before, and I have this opportunity for kids to give a short response. If I wanted to add in another question, maybe a multiple choice question here, I could put in that same question, what places in the world would you like to learn more about? And I could type in a couple options, maybe a place like Peru, maybe a place like Alaska, maybe students want to learn about Cairo, maybe they want to learn about New York City, or even add another option here where they could put in their own response. So this is a great way to combine different question types and give kids an opportunity to share. 
If interest surveys become part of your routine this year, make sure students know why you're asking questions and how you plan to use some of this information. You might be very transparent right at the beginning, or as you're moving through a unit, you might say, I chose this because, or I noticed so many of you were excited about something in particular. An interest survey doesn't just have to be a part of a beginning of the school year kickoff. It's something you could use at any point of the year when you want to pause, learn a little bit more about a group, and then make some decisions for future instruction.